at the Down Friends League, we will do um, a meet at the shelter. It's not necessarily mandatory unless we have um, a specific dog that we're not sure about their social skills. And so then we will make that a mandatory dog visit at the shelter so we can use that as an opportunity to talk about what it is that we're seeing. Um, and then we walk through the patron of the transition going back home. So we usually encourage the patron to allow the new dog, the recently adopted dog, to go into the home without the resident dog and explore the environment on, on its own so that he doesn't necessarily have to worry about the dog, uh, transition to the new people, as well as investigate the environment all at once. That can be a little bit overwhelming. Um, and, and, and a little confusing for the resident dog as well. Um, we also encourage to do neighborhood walks. So instead of just wa walking everybody inside, the, um, after the resident, sorry, after the um, newly adopted dog investigates the environment, they can go on a little walk in the neighborhood and then go in um, to the home. I think it's really important at that time to pick up all resources, so beds, bones, food, uh, water, toys, things of that nature to prevent any sort of initial altercation. Um, yeah, I definitely totally agree. I, I think the, some of the, the common misconceptions that we see with newly adopted dogs is everything's going well from that first hour to two hours, and then they, they don't, they kind of drop their guard a little bit, um, and that's where they're, the two dogs are still working, or the three dogs are still working out that dynamic in their relationship in a home environment. Um, so it's always be mindful of that behavior's fluid, behavior's always changing. So as behavior changes, um, their relationship's changing as well. Um, we're really good friends, so I could let her get away with a lot more. Um, but a, a stranger, uh, I'd be a little bit more apprehensive of. So that, that can be translated as well with the dogs, that they, they might be... Um, well companions, but in that first initial period, they're still figuring each other out. They're still learning about what the other person deems as, as valuable to what the other one doesn't deem as valuable. So um, it's something that I always encourage adopters to be mindful, even if it's going well, to be mindful that they're still adjusting it. And you'll start to see trends and behaviors within two weeks. And in that, in that two-week period, then you'll start to get a basis of the things that you need to be potentially more proactive of in the future, or the things that, you know what, we thought Google resource guarding was going to be an issue. There's been no issues in these two weeks, so it, it might have been something that was just an issue in a shelter setting where there was limited resources, but we're not seeing that transition to the home environment. 